Let's add the fractions 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. And when we're done, I'll show you an easy way to check your work. So when we're adding fractions, we need to get the denominator, the number on the bottom. These two numbers need to be the same. And we can do that if we listed the multiples of 4 and of 3. We'd see that both of these numbers, the lowest common multiple is 12. So 4 goes into 12 3 times. We can multiply 3 times 4, and that would give us 12. But we can't just multiply the bottom here. We need to multiply the top as well, because 3 over 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we don't change the value that way. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So we have our denominator of 12 over here. On this side, 3 times 4, that would give us 12. But again, we need to multiply the top the numerator by 4 as well. 2 times 4 is 8, and then 3 times 4, that's 12. So now we have this common denominator here. We can add the fractions. 3 plus 8, that's 11. 12, we just carry that across since that's our common denominator there. And 1 fourth plus 2 thirds, that's 11 twelfths. Let's check our work really quickly to make sure we have the correct answer. So we could multiply 1 times 3, that gives us 3, and then 4 times 2, that gives us 8. And then on the bottom, 4 times 3, we multiply the denominators, that gives us 12. 3 plus 8, that is 11, and then the 12 here. So we got the same answer. So we know we did the first part correctly. This is Dr. B adding the fractions 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. Thanks for watching.